Oh, be right with you. Hello, hello. Ah! All across America, people are catching the fever. Gold rush fever, that is. This right here, this is my gold rush, baby. Put your money where your mouth is. What's up, baby? It's probably why all the people's channel live in Houston, Texas. Now, gold is pretty much is another form of currency. But to us, what gold means is a symbolism of success. No one can doubt that the Vatican is a major financial worldwide giant. It costs to be the boss, baby. History will repeat. And it's going down. The rest is history, baby. Now sit down, shut up, and listen, because this shit is important. Party dance time. Man. Stay cool. Thor News presents. I need your love. Hit the button, baby. Well, this changes things. Ah, economics, man. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. <laughs> Not see pictures, ain't you? Every day we we have, of course, a little bit extra of concerning news. Venezuela stepping up gold selling as petrodollars dry up. And if you're wondering what a petrodollar is, it's the dollar that's in your wallet, backed by petroleum control dominance. Asterisk. All right, this article is exciting because uh, I've been wondering for a while out loud on my channel, like, when is all the pain from the oil crash going to wash onto our shores? Um, because the markets haven't seemed to reflect overall the giant loss of investment that seemed to happen when oil dropped from 100 bucks a barrel to $20 a barrel. You know, and now it's at 50 and people are like, hey, oil's at 50 That sure feels like smoke and mirrors because I don't think supply is down, you know, and supply was way, 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 way up. Venezuela has ratcheted up efforts to sell off its gold holdings and raise the cash needed to fund imports and pay back debts after the collapse in oil throttled the economy. See, like, the American economy didn't get throttled yet by the collapse in oil, and we seem to be big fans of it here. So, I'm still wondering when that shit's gonna show up. You know, that shit show is still just showing teasers, trailers, and previews. I don't think it's here yet. Maybe that'll be the wonderful October surprise. Remember, like, when the, right before the election, like, when George W. Bush had to go on cameras saying, Hey, y'all, I need a blank check to give to Wall Street to save the free markets. That was one of the craziest times ever. You know, seriously, to watch him on TV saying, Hey, y'all, I need a blank check to give to Wall Street to save the free markets. That had to be one of the weirdest American moments I can remember. I know a lot of the gold bugs out there believe that gold is almost like a religion. Um, and where I, I see nothing wrong with having 10% of your investments in precious metals. But I wouldn't ever bet the farm on it because, I don't know, technology, man. Technology. Read between the lines. Asteroid Fight Club. Plug here. Asteroid Fight Club says what? They say asteroid mining is going to be a big business. The country cut its gold reserves by 16% in the first quarter, following a 24% reduction in 2015. According to data from the International Monetary Fund, if there's one thing you can totally depend on, that's gold data. All right, that was total sarcasm, man. Like, apparently there's like 14 claims on every ounce of gold on the planet, if you put all the math together. Now, some of that math is wrong, but that's okay. This is a YouTube channel, but you get the basic idea, like with gold leasing, gold rehypothecation, um, ETFs, and just double bookkeeping, like the amount of gold bars accounted for is an astronomical number compared to how many there really are on the planet. Uh, just thought I'd point that out. Don't remember it too much. The 1.38 million ounce reduction was the largest by any central bank since Switzerland sold 3.2 million ounces in the third quarter of 2007. Wow, that'd be cool to see that shipment. It would have a very James Bond, Indiana Jones feel, wouldn't it? Okay, so if they did that in the third quarter of 2007, you can see this is a minor omen because 2007 was before 2008. I don't know if you know that, but 2008 had a big crash. And coincide with continued increases in gold reserves in mainland China. Venezuela has been thrown into turmoil by the collapse in oil prices. And President Nicolas Maduro faces rising political tensions, don't we all? Amid runaway inflation. Inflation? I thought that shit didn't exist. A contracting economy and shortages of some basic goods. It's a very serious situation. I only make light of it because uh, it's how I deal with doom and gloom. Forgive me. I know there was mass suffering going on there. And um, I don't know if I get too sad, then it's like, what's the point of making the video? Not correct. I thought too much. Then I look down and I see officials have repeatedly said the country will honor its financial obligations in full and without delay. Said Trade Minister Jesus. That's weird. You know, I'm Trade Minister named Jesus for your 1.38 million ounce gold sale. You know, it's like, he became a money changer. Oh, man, everything's so screwed up. Okay, I think I'm done with the story. It's a weird Thursday. All right, so yeah, Venezuela selling a record gold sale. Uh, so let that be a sign to you. I got a weird feeling when Mercury transited, because Mercury's supposed to stand for money and shit, uh, that, like, maybe it has begun then. And it will slowly happen, so keep your eye out. I don't know, but maybe the markets will always just go up or plateau. So, those people looking for some type of a correction in the markets, maybe it's just old school. And that from these days, the markets shall never go down. <laughs> That's so weird. So, that would be the only place to make money would be in the stock markets, because, like, you ain't getting shit off savings, you ain't getting shit off IRAs, you ain't getting, you ain't getting shit off CDs, or, you know, the stock market's the only way to go, I guess, man. Money! All right, sorry, I tapped on this one earlier, but it's a weird day. It's Thor's day, and the country shipped almost 60 metric tons of gold to Switzerland. Wow. All right, so stay cool.
Hello, hold please. Hello, one moment, please. Hello, be right with you. Hello, hello. All across America, people are catching the fever. Gold rush fever, that is. This right here, this is my gold rush, baby. Put your money where your mouth is. What's up, baby? It's Power Wild the People's Channel live in Houston, Texas. Now, gold is pretty much is another form of currency. But to us, what gold means is the symbolism of success. No one can doubt that the Vatican is a major financial worldwide giant. It costs to be the boss, baby. History will repeat. And it's going down. The rest is history, baby. Now sit down, shut up, and listen, because this shit is important. Party dance time. Stay cool. Thor News presents. I need your love.